We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for the smash that like button to let me know you watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you'll appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. So, BBIG stock, another explosive move today within this consolidation and swings as we talked about in yesterday's video. But it's not the only stock pushing up higher. Today at 11.35 a.m., our spy bot sent us out a bull indicator and from that moment forward call options went up 80 percent plus within minutes guys this is our new resource that allows us to have an edge within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities whether stocks are going up or going down and you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected to the spy bot the qqq bot our newly released tesla bot and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets. And you can now join the members using these resources to maximize on opportunities, whether stocks are going up or going down by receiving that clarity and edge over the charts with 42 vision. So BBIG stock here holding itself up. And we're going to talk about some key levels of resistance and support. But before we break it down, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity i mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so these are the two stocks i mentioned this morning and both of them gave small jumps of three to five percent five to ten percent plus but one of them turned out to be a home run and that was a u v i we caught this one in the pre-market under a bull indicator consolidating here towards the bell and after the bell with full strength here on 42 vision it hit a highest point of 30 percent plus guys if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with bbig stock Vinco ventures inc and as i stated in yesterday's video and even earlier in the video it has been in this consolidation and volatility will continue to persist and the opportunities are forming right before us as we see this hold itself up with strength and as well as it's playing out between the ups and downs right so i'm going to go ahead and pull up ultimate 42 vision the born bear indicators which you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected to the spy bot our qqq bot our newly released tesla bot and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities whether stocks are going up or going down and you can now join the members using these resources maximizing in either direction by receiving that clarity and edge with 42 vision so yesterday bbig stock was under a bull indicator as i was doing the video now we saw a lot of strength here and based off 42 vision it has done a complete shift from white with red borders which is a dip area to bright green as the rip area came back down this time it turned around pretty quickly and hit green again right so when you hit that bright green you're at the rip area and the chances of things slowing down if it pulls back are a lot higher especially if it's followed by a dark green with red borders and red bar as well as a bear indicator popping up shortly after or pretty quickly and that's what happened the last two pullbacks now both pullbacks have now been canceled out by bull indicators each time yesterday it was yesterday's bull indicator and today it's today's bull indicator so a lot of volatility here between the lows down here at the 230s all the way up towards the 290s but we keep getting rejections as we get closer to three dollars so we definitely want to be aware of that and always remember that right i'm not here to sugarcoat things i'm here to talk about things for what they are so let's go ahead and break it all down in today's video the key levels and right now in the volatility on the 30 minute we are under a bull indicator since $2.72 around that area, give or take. Now, on the four hour though, we have been in the process of reversing, right? You could see how it's going from red 
to dark green and a continuation of those bars right within this volatility and in this consolidation but if this is going to have any real strength we definitely want to see it break above three dollars but most importantly actually cancel out this bear indicator by a bull indicator popping up in the move okay that's what i'm looking for that's what we're watching and that's what i'm going to be watching every single day going into the next day and next trading day as bbig stock continues to unravel within this volatility so we're still under a bear indicator we're still below three dollars but if we get back up there and three dollars is used as support in the process in that move we want that bull indicator to pop up in that move as well okay not just continue the shifts but no bull indicator to cancel out this bear indicator now when we go over to the one day you could see that things have been trying to reverse here as well shifted from red to dark green and having that continuation to go upwards right but keeps on rejecting the higher it goes closer to three dollars which we've talked about time after time in my videos and even since way back here when this first bear indicator at four dollars and 33 cents popped up and things were bearish all the way down to the twos until we finally had that bounce from the twos all the way back up to the threes the rejection again and i've broken down my theory my thesis and i could be completely wrong this is not financial advice and by all means i may not even know what i'm talking about right that's the worst way to look at it but i am here to share my opinions and my thoughts and my perspective and what the charts are showing and we've been tracking this together for the last several weeks months and almost a whole entire year now right we're going into like 10 months of following and tracking these charts and letting the charts speak to us so i know there's a lot of manipulation a lot of people have a lot of different perspectives on different data but at the end of the day the charts tell you a story i've been talking about since way back here how four dollars was so important because we pulled up the data how everyone's average cost based off the data was between 350 up to five and five dollars plus now a lot of people were able to average down when it hit the lows down here around the 260s and 270s and as it pulled back up closer to almost four dollars a lot of profit taking or breaking even or cutting losses short happened and this happened right here those that did not have a chance to get out or average down in this time have averaged down on the way down here and then things came back up and as soon as it hit close to 350 it rejected again it didn't even let it get close to four dollars and everyone that had a chance to get out here started getting out here and in the process shorts both times have put pressure to the downside as well but there's a lot of selling going on when this happens and when we reach the fours this most recent time almost 350s again and so forth the rejection happened again and that's how we've ended up here at this point where the stock is having trouble staying above three dollars because over time people have been able to bring their average cost down and as soon as they see a slight profit or breaking even there are bulls that are getting out of their positions and in the process again the shorts are putting pressure so remember that so on the one day trying to come back up but we are under a bear indicator now on the 30 minute when you come back over here it's pushing back up again we do not want to see this reject 288 we want to see a break through it and we do not want it to reject 293 we want to see a break through it and we want it to break out above three dollars and find support up here in the three dollar range that's to the upside resistance levels to watch going into tomorrow as this plays out to the downside the first support is 260 and if that gets broken through the next point is 248 if you want to round that up to 250 you can those are the key levels i'll be watching in between that area if the bulls are trying to reappear or if the bears are tearing this one down fairly fast guys again this is not financial advice i'm here to always share my perspective and opinions and i could be completely wrong but one thing that does not ever fail 
is the charts and what they're saying. And right now, there is a big battle here in this consolidation where the bulls are trying to pull upwards and $3 will be pivotal. And if it keeps rejecting it, the bears are putting on pressure in my opinion. And to receive clarity within the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected to the spy bot, the QQQ bot, our newly released Tesla bot, and there's many more bots on the way to get connected to the Discord. It sends us direct notifications to give us that edge and clarity within the charts, and you can receive this edge and clarity that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on the opportunities, whether stocks are going up or going down. You can now gain access to these resources and join the members using these resources, receiving that edge and clarity within the volatility to the markets, whether stocks are jumping up, going down, bearish or bullish, no FOMO, no chasing, just focused on what really matters and maximizing within those moves. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make 